I am finding more and more uh, that the concept of reading your Bible through is wonderful and valuable, but there's nowhere in Scripture that it says just read the Scriptures. There's definitely a disconnect within Christian society and certain Christian circles of reading the Bible, but not actively applying the truth to them personally. It's applied more ecclesiastically, like to the church or in a general way. And it's usually the, the low-hanging fruit, easy to understand scripture. And sadly, even that gets misapplied, right? Even that gets taken out of context. However, when you go to someone, blessed is the man that doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. He doesn't stand in the way of sinners. He doesn't see it in the seat of the scornful. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And that's where we, you know, most circles, you know, the yell, yeah, I delight to read God's word. But it goes further and it says, in his law, the Torah specifically, if you want to be real specific and, and, and exegete that correctly, does he meditate day and night? Now, the Eastern slash Jewish slash Israeli practice is not just to read or memorize the scripture, even though they do both. But on a personal level, there's a meditation and an application that takes place in an everyday experience. Think the Shema, which means to hear. It's basically the doctrinal statement of the Jewish people. You will love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, blah, blah, blah. So, the purpose of this video today, and I haven't made one in a while, but I will make them as the Lord leads. I was making them every day till my phone broke, and then, and then, and then life took over. Um, and, and God has given me grace to... Just make him as he leads. So there needs to be a practical application of Scripture on an everyday basis. That application comes through meditation, not just through reading it. Not just through finding some cool truths and going, Oh, thus saith the Lord, or I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, or and taking the low-hanging fruit of Scripture, and like I said just a moment ago, and often out of context, but taking it and meditating on it and letting it Letting it marinate within our soul. By meditation. And watch it find strength in the everyday experience. That as you face life, moment by moment, experience by experience. And allow and watch the Holy Spirit of God. Bring that truth into fulfillment in your life and become a James 122 believer. Not just hearers or thinkers, but meditators and doers of the word. And be transformed. And that's the thought for today. So post any questions, comments, etc. Also, invite other people to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to do a subscription blitz and try to get some people to subscribe to my channel and boost it up to 250. It's at 110 now. I eventually want to get up to 1,000 because when I get up to 1,000, what I'm sharing with you right now won't be recorded. It will be live. And I like to have live moments because I know God's going to, in his time and in his way, and I don't know how many. I don't have a, a script. God didn't hand me a script or an understanding of how this is going to work, but there's going to be moments that I can go live in certain situations and let the Holy Spirit of, uh, who speaks to me and through me speak to you and others live and bring thoughts that God gives me to you. And that's how he works, and it's a beautiful thing. So uh, if you like this, share it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed before to my YouTube channel. And together... Let's give God a bigger voice. Sound good? Be blessed.